The way we train doctors has remained remarkably similar for centuries. Classrooms, cadavers, clinical rotations. But today, we are standing on the edge of a revolution. Advances in technology, from virtual reality to artificial intelligence, are transforming not just how we learn medicine, but what it means to be a doctor. Welcome to the future of medical education. Why medical education must evolve. Medicine is advancing at a pace never seen before. The body of knowledge now doubles in months, not decades, and global demand for doctors is rising. Traditional lectures and textbooks can't keep up with this speed or scale. Students need flexible, modern ways to learn, and technology is stepping in to bridge the gap. Medical science continues to expand at an extraordinary pace. A discovery that was cutting edge a decade ago might already be outdated today. From genomics and personalized medicine to new diagnostic tools and digital health platforms, learners must constantly update their knowledge. They need reliable ways to stay current and practice applying new findings safely. Lecture-based approaches alone can no longer keep up with this rapid expansion. Join our growing community of healthcare professionals. Hit subscribe and stay updated with more videos on appraisals, revalidation and medical insights. More learners worldwide are entering medical education than ever before often while juggling clinical duties, jobs, or family responsibilities. There is a growing demand for asynchronous learning, hybrid formats, and online platforms that break down barriers of time and geography. Flexibility isn't a luxury anymore. It's becoming a necessity for the future of medicine. Modern medicine is about more than memorizing facts. Doctors must demonstrate clinical reasoning, communicate effectively with patients and colleagues, collaborate across disciplines and show empathy and judgment. Training is shifting away from rote recall toward competency-based assessments, simulations and real-world evaluations. Students are not only expected to know, but to do safely, responsibly and with human connection. Technology is finally catching up to the ambitions of medical educators. Lighter and more affordable VR and AR headsets powerful AI tools, high-speed internet and cloud platforms are making once futuristic learning models both possible and practical. These advances are reshaping the foundations of medical education and expanding what students and teachers can achieve. The COVID-19 pandemic was a turning point. Almost overnight, classrooms became virtual, exams shifted online and telemedicine became part of training. Students and educators had to adapt rapidly, testing new approaches at scale. This experience revealed what worked, what fell short, and how resilient medical education can be when the stakes are high. The game-changing technologies. Virtual, augmented, and mixed reality allow learners to step inside the human body, practice surgical procedures, and experience rare cases in safe, controlled environments. Instead of reading about anatomy, students can interact with it directly. These immersive methods enhance understanding, improve memory retention, and create opportunities for repeated practice that were never possible in the past. Artificial intelligence is emerging as a tutor, a peer, and even a patient. Imagine practicing with an AI that simulates dozens of patient personalities or instantly receiving feedback on a diagnostic choice. AI can also summarize the latest research, generate clinical cases, and help personalize study paths. For learners, this means practice and feedback are always available, no matter the time or place. Simulation has become the bridge between theory and practice. Whether using high-fidelity mannequins, standardized patients, or virtual patient apps, learners can make mistakes safely, repeat procedures until mastery, and gain confidence before working with real patients. From simple IV insertions to rare genetic disorders, simulation ensures that doctors enter the clinic better prepared and more capable. Adaptive platforms monitor progress, detect weak points, and adjust content accordingly. This means students spend less time repeating what they already know and more time mastering what challenges them. 
data-driven coaching, personalized feedback, and performance tracking make learning both efficient and motivating. The future of medicine demands lifelong learning. Education won't stop at graduation, but will be embedded into daily practice. Online modules, MOOCs, micro-credentials, and telemedicine training will ensure doctors stay current throughout their careers. Virtual classrooms spanning the globe will allow learners to collaborate and share knowledge without borders, bringing equity and access to places that have long been underserved. Let's talk about the sponsors of this video and NOAA AI. You are a medical student who sits late at night, surrounded by textbooks, scrolling endlessly through PubMed, searching for the right studies to finish a literature review, or a doctor who prepares for tomorrow's clinic, trying to make sense of the latest trial data and new treatment guidelines. Two different roles, one common challenge, too much information, too little time. NOAA AI was built to solve this very problem. It is not just another search tool, but an intelligent agent designed specifically for life sciences. Unlike generic AI, NOAA thinks like an expert in the field. It clarifies your question, breaks it down into smaller parts, and then searches across the world's most trusted biomedical sources to build a complete, evidence-based answer. Let's look at an example. Suppose the question is, what is the current evidence for GLP-1 agonists in obesity management? NOAA begins by clarifying the query, identifying the key dimensions that matter, efficacy, safety, clinical trial results, and treatment guidelines. Once refined, it builds a plan. First, scan PubMed for the latest peer-reviewed studies. Then, check authoritative sources such as the FDA and UpToDate. Next, map ongoing clinical trials. And finally, organize all findings into a structured response. Within moments, NOAA presents the results. A summary of trial outcomes, details on side effect profiles, and clear references that can be traced back with a single click. Even the PubMed entries display impact factors helping you judge the weight of each piece of evidence. It doesn't stop there, NOAA reflects on the sufficiency of the data. If more information is needed, it plans further steps automatically, ensuring answers are not just fast, but reliable and comprehensive. For the student, this means hours of manual searching are reduced to minutes. Instead of wrestling with endless tabs and scattered notes, they now have a referenced, structured foundation for their literature review or class assignment. For the doctor, it means having confidence in clinical decision-making with up-to-date evidence at their fingertips, ready to support patient care or inform ongoing research. NOAA AI is more than a research assistant. It is a partner for learning, practice and discovery. By combining professionalism with accuracy, it helps medical students study smarter, researchers explore deeper and doctors act with greater confidence. Whether you are just starting your journey in medicine or already balancing the demands of practice and research, NOAA AI brings clarity to complexity. Think faster. Work smarter. Analyze like an expert. That is the promise of NOAA AI. Discover more at noaai.co. NOAA is now in beta. Users who sign up via the link will get an invitation code within 48 hours. Check out the link in the video description. Visions of the near future. Looking ahead, we can imagine multiple possible futures. One is the integrated virtual clinical campus, where students move seamlessly between VR labs, AI mentors, and real patient care, with data guiding every step of their learning journey. Another is a global collaborative network, where institutions across countries share virtual patients, online modules, and faculty training reducing disparities between rich and poor regions. A third possibility is slower adoption, where tradition and innovation coexist carefully with technology supporting but not fully replacing older systems. The challenges ahead. With innovation comes responsibility. These advances bring serious challenges that must not be overlooked. The cost of high-tech tools could widen the gap between wealthy and less resourced institutions. Many of these methods are still experimental, and rigorous evidence is needed to prove they improve real-world outcomes. 
over-reliance on AI could risk de-skilling future doctors. Issues of bias, privacy and accountability must be addressed, and educators need support to use these tools effectively while avoiding the fatigue of constant technological change. Early Success Stories Encouragingly, early case studies already show how technology can make a difference. Platforms like MedSim AI provide realistic patient encounters and structured feedback, allowing students to practice communication and diagnostic reasoning without relying on human standardized patients. MediTools integrates large language models to simulate dermatology cases, offer literature summaries, and train decision making. Mixed reality anatomy projects demonstrate how overlaying virtual structures onto real patients can enhance spatial understanding. The Verti platform uses immersive video and virtual humans to develop empathy, communication and teamwork skills. The EU's SUSA project is building digital health data competence among medical learners across Europe, showing that policymakers are beginning to prioritise digital fluency. Even mobile platforms like Touch Surgery are proving effective for procedural training, offering portable, low-cost solutions that scale globally. These examples show that while the journey has only begun, the potential of technology in medical education is not theoretical. It is already here, delivering measurable improvements in learning outcomes. What needs to happen next? To fully realize this potential, every stakeholder must act. Students need to embrace self-directed learning, experiment with new technologies, and build digital health literacy. They must be open to lifelong education that continues well beyond graduation. Faculty development, training in simulation and AI-based teaching, and collaboration with technologists will be vital. Institutions must make smart investments in infrastructure, simulation labs, immersive technologies and digital networks, while also planning for long-term maintenance and equitable access. Partnerships with industry and other universities will help share resources and accelerate adoption. Policymakers must create clear standards for digital learning, simulation and AI validation. They need to protect privacy, address bias and ensure funding mechanisms for under-resourced regions. Without supportive policy frameworks, innovation risks becoming fragmented and uneven. And finally, technology developers must design tools that are transparent, affordable and adaptable across cultures and settings. Tools must be rigorously tested, built with input from educators and designed with equity in mind. If these steps are taken, medical education can become not only more advanced but also more inclusive, ethical and effective. Conclusion as we reach the conclusion, one thing is clear. The future of medical education will not replace human mentors, bedside teaching or clinical experience. Instead, it will expand what is possible. For students, it promises richer exposure and more tailored guidance. For educators, sharper tools to support teaching. And for patients, care from doctors who are better prepared, more adaptable and more attuned to the realities of modern healthcare. If we address the challenges of cost, equity and ethics, the next generation of doctors will not only be fluent in medicine but also in the technologies reshaping it. Technology will never replace empathy, judgment or the human heart of medicine, but it will empower the healers of tomorrow with tools their predecessors could only dream of. The question is not whether this change will arrive, but whether we are ready to guide it wisely. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more valuable insights on appraisals, revalidation, and interesting topics in healthcare.